In 2025, something massive is happening behind Koenigsegg's closed doors. And it's not just another upgrade. No one else can do what we're doing. If you want that, you can't get it anywhere else. Words like new engine, wipe the floor, and electric cars have started circling after a cryptic statement from the CEO himself. We never stop developing it because it gives enormous freedom to the combustion engine. No flashy launch, no teaser campaign, just a quiet decision that could upend everything we thought we knew about the future of performance. If you think the EV race is already won, think again, because Koenigsegg might be about to pull off the unthinkable, and no one's ready for what's coming next. The Art of Speed, Koenigsegg's obsession with power. From the beginning, Koenigsegg never followed trend. While the rest of the automotive world was busy chasing lap times with bloated engineering teams and badge prestige, Christian von Koenigsegg was building rockets disguised as cars out of a small factory in Engelholm, Sweden. No big marketing budgets, no legacy to coast on, just one relentless mission. Create the fastest, most innovative machines on the planet and prove that one company could out-engineer the giants. The first car, the CC8S, was a warning shot. Then came the CCR, which briefly held the title of world's fastest production car. But it wasn't until the Agera RS that the world really started paying attention. In 2017, it shattered the production car speed record 277.9 miles per air. Without breaking a sweat, it didn't just beat the competition, it embarrassed them. While everyone else talked traction control, Koenigsegg was out there rewriting physics. But this obsession with speed was never just about straight-line performance. Every detail, from the monocoque tub to the triplex suspension, reflected a philosophy. Everything must serve performance, and anything that doesn't goes. No fluff, no gimmicks, just raw engineering. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower. It's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Regera, a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it Direct Drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin turbo vate under the hood, it somehow felt elegant, like the world's fastest grand piano. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower, it's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Regera, a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it Direct Drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin turbo vate under the hood, it somehow felt elegant, like the world's fastest grand piano. Of course, none of this would matter without the man behind it. Christian isn't your typical CEO. He's part inventor, part speed freak, part philosopher. He once said, why do we build fast cars? Because we can. But that doesn't mean it's reckless. There's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power to weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin and then watch it come to life six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invented their own carbon fiber technology. Why they built a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker into a name that makes Ferrari and Bugatti lose sleep. And while the industry is now charging headfirst into an electric future, Koenigsegg has remained cautious, not reluctant, just methodical. Because Christian knows something that many don't. Speed alone doesn't win the war. Innovation does. And sometimes the fastest car isn't the one that hits 300 miles power on paper, but the one that dares to ask, what if we did things completely differently? Koenigsegg is always chasing that question. And lately, it seems they've been working on an answer that's unlike anything we've seen before. One that might not just raise the bar, but flip the entire game on its head. But we'll get to that. Right now, all you need to know is this. Koenigsegg is up to something again. Enter the Gemra, family car track monster. When Koenigsegg announced the Gemra, 
people thought it was a prank. A four-seater Grand Tourer from the same brand that builds cars with fighter jet doors and speeds that scare NASA? It didn't make sense until it did. Because Koenigsegg wasn't just making a family car, they were making the family car. One that could fit four adults comfortably, carry luggage, and still out-accelerate a Bugatti Chiron. The Gemra wasn't a compromise, it was a dare. This wasn't a car built for balance, it was built for contradiction. Luxury meets lunacy, practicality fused with power, and it all started under the skin. Instead of going with a big 12 or a bulky EV setup, Koenigsegg introduced the world to the tiny friendly giant, or TFG for short. A 2L three-cylinder engine, that alone turned heads. But what dropped jaws was what it could do. 600 horsepower thanks to twin turbos and Cambler's free valve tech. No cams, no belts, just software controlling every valve in real time. The engine could shut off cylinders mid-drive or breathe differently depending on how hard you pushed it. It wasn't just small, it was smart and terrifyingly efficient. Of course, this wasn't just about internal combustion. Koenigsegg knew the future leaned electric, so they added three motors, one for each rear wheel and one on the crankshaft. Together with the TFG, the Gemra produced up to one 700 horsepower. It could run purely electric, purely gas, or mix both for brutal acceleration. And despite being a plug-in hybrid, it didn't care much about your range anxiety. It offered over 600 miles of total range with a full tank and charge. That's Stockholm to Paris, in one go, without slowing down. Then came the design. At first glance, it looked like a Koenigsegg sleek, low, aggressive. But then you notice the massive clamshell doors. No B-pillar, the whole side of the car opened like a sci-fi airlock, revealing a cabin that felt more like a Scandinavian lounge than a hypercar. Four individual bucket seats, full infotainment for front and back cup. He once said, why do we build fast cars? Because we can. But that doesn't mean it's reckless. There's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power to weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin and then watch it come to life six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invented their own carbon fiber technology. Why they built a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker